It's very, very quiet in here. But as long as I have this candle lit, I can see, well, a few inches in front of me, and um, it'll keep me warm, I hope. David Menzies for Rebel News here in Richmond Hill, Ontario. Now, just one second, folks. Four, three, two, one. Hey, hey, it's 8.30. Happy Earth Hour. Yes, the last Saturday night in March at 8.30 to 9.30 is Earth Hour. Can you imagine? Is Earth Hour even still a thing? I mean, it used to be, going back a decade, front page news, uh, you know, this thing that's the World Wildlife Federation uh, promotes. Uh, yeah, World Wildlife Federation. Why does that ring a bell? Um, yes, Gerald Butts, uh, Justin Trudeau's puppet master. He used to be the president of WWF Canada. And uh, now, of course, it's the ex-Toronto mayor, Mr. Miller, who uh, is most notable for his war on the car while his blondness was in power. In any event... Um, Earth Hour is indeed uh, not front page news anymore. Maybe you might find a mention on C-19 of the classifieds. But uh, never thought there'd be a bright side to the coronavirus. But there is one here, folks, because all around the world, Earth Hour gatherings have been cancelled. Yeah, indeed, uh, I was going to go to the neighboring city of Vaughan, Ontario. They had uh, a big Earth Hour celebration planned. Well, when I say big, I mean about uh, 10 or 12 people. And uh, it's been cancelled. But the uh, city of Vaughan uh, dutifully uh, put out on a website uh, some things you can do at home when it's Earth Hour. Here it is in light of precautionary measures surrounding COVID-19. How can you participate at home? Well, switch off your lights and other electronics at home for one hour on Saturday, March 28th, between 8.30 and 9.30 p.m. Have a candle-lit yoga session or other workout. Read a book or play a board game by candlelight. And on and on it goes. You know, here's the thing, folks. Because of the coronavirus, it has been Earth Hour for several weeks now. People are cooped up in their homes doing self-quarantine. And now the Enviro weenies want to make it that much more miserable by having us turn our gadgets off, turn the lights off. Are they out of their minds? You know, but that's the way they roll in the environmental movement. They want us to party like it's 1699. They tell us to turn off clean burn electricity and instead illuminate the outdoors and our homes with candles. Now, the majority of candles in Canada are made out of paraffin. Paraffin is a petroleum byproduct. You are actually causing more CO2 emissions. You are actually increasing your carbon footprint when you don't put on a clean burn light bulb and you light up a candle. But this is the insanity of the environmental movement. It's, it's not about real tangible results. It's all about virtue signaling. Well, I can say that here at Casa Menzoid, as you can see, the lights are on. I'm not going back to caveman days. And I'm going to walk around the neighborhood uh, and see who else is not celebrating this ludicrous and actually self-defeating initiative. Ah, glad to see the city of Richmond Hill is not falling for this Earth Hour nonsense. As you can see, the park pathway is illuminated. And for good reason, you don't want to bump into things in the night. Which is what happens because Homo sapiens cannot see in the dark. And there's a couple of houses there. Lights on, excellent. Other side of the park, lights on. I, th I thought I saw some pulsating light in the distance. I wonder if someone's doing my old shtick of renting those Hollywood premiere spotlights. Nice to see the parks completely illuminated, of course. Because of COVID-19, you cannot go on the playground under punishment of, oh, who knows how many thousands of dollars. More lights on in this house. No lights on in that house, but I know why, folks. Those folks aren't home. Well, folks, that was interesting. Um, just off camera... Uh, somebody came up to me, asked me what I was doing, and um, 
told them I was poking fun at Earth Hour. And um, she didn't like that. She's one of those people that buys into this rubbish. And she said, you know, why don't you just at least try it? So you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to go home, grab a, a paraffin candle, because evidently that's what this environmentalist wants me to do, add more pollution to the planet. And um, I don't know, go to Richmond Hill Forest and light her up. And let's see what fun I have. Okay, folks, here I am at the forest. I think it's actually called the Oak Ridges Moraine. Uh, a lot of people think it's serene and beautiful. Um, I think it looks like a good place to put a condo development. In any event, I'm going to go into the woods, um, turn off the illumination that's coming from my V8-powered truck, and uh, try to see wh how much fun I get by um, laying down on a blankie and lighting up a candle and... Uh, Celebrating whatever remains of Earth Hour. Oh my goodness gracious folks, let me tell you, I am deep, deep into the woods, far from civilization. And uh, you wouldn't even be seeing this image of me if it wasn't for my uh, trusty flashlight. Which, of course, by the rules of Earth Hour, I've got to extinguish so I can light up my candle, but I'm telling you, this is like something out of the Blair Witch Project. It, it's so dark, I'm all alone. It's like when I lost my virginity. <clears throat> anyway, let's light up the candle. Okay, folks, I, I hope you can see me. Uh, the candle's lit, and um, it's very, very quiet in here. But as long as I have this candle lit, I can see well a few inches in front of me and um it'll keep me warm i hope <laughs> for the rebel news this is david the menzoid menzies hey folks unlike the mainstream media rebel news doesn't receive a single penny of taxpayer dollars nor would we take it if offered so please can you help us can you help us bring us the kind of journalism you've come to appreciate over the years? Please go to helprebelnews.com. That's helprebelnews.com. Kick in a buck or two so that we can continue to bring you the other side of the story.